There are 1.6 billion people in this world who have no access to electricity or modern forms of energy. This is a fairly poor area. People don't have incomes that grow over a period of time. They more or less live at the same level. Most of these people use a very crudely designed lantern or a lamp which burns kerosene and it gives very poor quality illumination plus it also gives smoke and then the moment that light goes off, they go off to sleep. It's a colossal tragedy that in this day and age we have a quarter of humanity who have not seen the benefits of Edison's invention. <laughs> And lighting a billion lights is basically a mission. For most of these people who do not have access to electricity, lighting becomes the first amenity which they aspire for. And lighting a billion lights is targeting those people and giving them improved solar-based lighting systems to at least get them started on the socio-economic ladder of development. The community can rent out these lanterns on a daily basis by spending almost 10 cents that they are used to spending on kerosene. Now the challenge comes that if you are setting up infrastructure facility in the village, who will be responsible for let's say renting it out, charging it? Who is going to manage that? <laughs> This program is an entrepreneur driven program. We are very lucky that we got a guy like Prasan Deuri. His role is community mobilization and awareness generation among the communities of that particular area. 30 <laughs> We want to give some hopes to the villagers for improving their standard of living. Kerosene is very expensive, and kerosene is very expensive. You can see that. 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 You can see रात्रिना कर this program is very new, but response is very good. This is a very well organized opportunity. Uh, we're swamped with opportunities to give, but this one, it's not a handout. It's well thought out, it's sustainable. You see a lot of uh, development in, in Delhi and Mumbai and Calcutta, etc. But it's out there in the villages where we can really make a difference. Over and above that, you're converting solar energy into lighting. So it's an extremely efficient way of minimizing emissions of greenhouse gases. We are planning to move in countries such as Maldives, Myanmar, Mexico, Pakistan and other countries. Our goal is to reach out to those 1.6 billion people no matter where they are. The ultimate goal is uh, ambitious. I believe we'll have to mobilize a lot of people across the world, but it's not at all an insurmountable task. We can bring light to everybody who doesn't have it today. It can be done and it must be done.